so let's move forward and add some more properties to this project so what i'm going to do is that i will have scrolled to the top of the file and add uh, some of the properties property panes first of all i have to add the property panes then only i can move forward with the other things okay so i have property pane text field what i'm going to do is i will add one more property pane let's say checkbox i want to add a checkbox no problem i can add a checkbox and then i want to add a let's say toggle maybe okay so we have added four properties now we have four properties group property pane text field property pane text field okay check box drop down and toggle so these are the four four types of property panes which we have added now we have to update the web part properties to include the new properties this maps the field to the typed objects as we know very well so we have to specify in our interface that what all properties which we have used so one is a description obviously over there so let's define another one i will write let's say test and this is of type string probably okay i will write again test one of type boolean Uh, instead of color now because this is another demo demo i'm using let's say i'm writing test 2 as a string and another property i want to use let's say of type boolean and i'm saving the file okay so what i have done over here is that i have added the different properties in my interface this is another demo which i'm showing you related to the properties how we can uh, modify or add different type of properties in the property pane so at the top in the same file i have added some property panes for check box drop down toggle and a text field and for the same i have added some properties okay and then we are going to uh, modify this you can say get property pane configuration method so in this get property pane configuration we have to add the property fields or properties for all the property types which we have added at the top that is for text box for drop downs for everything toggle for the check box for the drop downs everything what we have added at the top so we have to add the properties for over here so what we can do is that we can replace this method with the following code i have this code for it or i can directly say for the group fields probably I can replace the group fields so what i have done over here is that i have changed the group fields with the properties which i had so what was the properties which i had let's see what all properties we had so we had the text field check box drop down and the toggle okay so we have the description the text field as the test one description is the default one then we have the check box then we have the drop down drop down is having some values probably okay you can have the different values over here and then you have the toggle it all these properties have different values you can see see over here that multi line is true i am saying that this text box should have multi line as true and what are the check box text what i will have the text as the check box then the drop down values obviously which we saw in the previous demo and then the toggle button yes on and off or yes or no so these kind of things which we can use in the property pane and what will happen that in this file we have done all the changes apart from this what we can do is that in the manifest file as i told you that in the manifest file you can specify the default values right so for all the properties let me specify the default values what default value values it will have 
so i am just write any any text which i want for to display the default values that's it so the, uh, whatever properties i have created i have to write the values because it's a boolean that's why i'm writing as true and for uh, uh, okay i have another property as well that is again boolean cool so i have this on the uh, let's let's change because this is the same color we added so what we will do is the text will change so that you all not get confused and we have different set of demo if you want to add one more key because we added three in the previous demo let's add the fourth one no problem okay now i will repeat the steps again one step i have not added intentionally that step i am going to add at the end okay so let's go to the manifest i have added for description test test1 test2 and test3 these are my properties and in the hello world webpart.ts that is my main webpart file the ts file what i have added are the group fields only so these group fields are for the text field the checkbox the drop down and the toggle at the top what i added the text field the checkbox sorry the checkbox the drop down and the toggle so all these four fields i added clear and now the last thing what i can do is that i just want to uh, show what is coming on the screen that we can see that also so for that what we can do is i just copy paste the code and i can write all the properties will, which will be visible over here the reason being these properties i have created these are the custom properties so i can write let's say test cool and i save this file okay now let's quickly run this but before running it let me see i have added that okay so just to display that what will be the value i have added that also no problem so quickly run this i am writing gulp serve on the node js command prompt i have written gulp serve okay cool <coughs> i'm sorry so as you can see on the screen we have the desired output we can have the check box over here we can have the toggle yes no kind of things or true false then you have the drop down values 1 2 3 4 whatever value you want to choose and accordingly it will uh, be changed on your client side web parts so these are the default property panes you can see we can create i will talk about uh, one more demo not i'm not sure probably today but i will talk about one more demo when where we will create more advanced and more interactive uh, you will say uh, property panes there we have because i want to tell you something so you see here group name you see here group name right okay you see here description field as a text okay now what i want to show you here is that we can create the different groups and we can have the pagination also over here in the property pane so let's go back to the code and see what this get property pane configuration method is doing you see here pages can you see here pages everyone so i am writing everything in the one page that's why there is no pagination over here okay no questions so there is no pagination over here once i add different 
different pages. At the same time, you see here groups. So these are the two main headers I will talk about in the third demo of the property panes. So one demo I showed you with simple one drop down. Second demo, this one I showed you with the different types of property panes or tools or tool chains you can add in your property pane. Thank you.